Okay, so hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Minecraft Survival Beta. Anyway, so, got a rule last episode. I might have got a little bit more. I've just been doing some kind of general resource gathering. Get some stuff together, like I've got some more wood. I need to make some more tools though. But anyway, I'm going to sleep for the night. This will let you skip the night, as you can see. Any colour will work to any combination, but it's always red, unfortunately, in this texture pack. So, I collected this wood for a reason, because we need tools. Lots and lots of tools. I've managed to get lots of cobble, because I've been creeping. I've been trying creeper and things. TNT, one of the creepers. They blow up with the force of one TNT. I'm actually going to make some armour as well. Some black shoes. Primitive black shoes. It's awful when they run out so quickly. And they lose protection when they run out. You know, a couple of pickaxes. It's kind of, you, if you're just starting out, you kind of just need to start exploring around your world, seeing what's in it, and seeing what you want to be in it, and you know, just kind of get to know what's what and get the hang of it. So yeah, we, you should have a better shelter than this. I'll work on that when it becomes a problem. But for me, that's fine because I can kind of fight the monsters. But I recommend a house with four walls. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, I'm going to start growing my cactus, I'm going to see if I can get a good stack of cactus, and if I can, watch the cactus do hurt you, if I can get a stack of cactus, I'll, I'm going to build a cactus okay, so welcome back, that's what we need, we need the iron, this can be mined with a stone pickaxe or above, not a wooden one though. Um, it's going to make us our buckets and help us make the, um, help us make the cactus farm. There's one thing I want to build before that though, and, well, I'm over the hill here, obviously, I'm up at the desert. The base is just over that hideous hill, it's a nightmare to cross. I think I've got enough cactus, so I'll start kind of growing it. And, but, ethyl? A YouTuber started then, and huge now, absolutely huge, unbeatable YouTuber now. Uh, except for me. <laughs> I can beat anyone, I'm only kidding. Right, so he developed this road system for Beta called his Eats Road, Ethel's Aquatic Transportation System, I think it is. And it's really cool, so I'm going to build one of them. All copyright and everything goes to him, all credit goes to him, he built it, I copied it. <laughs> I just don't know anything else that works at this time. But my house is just in that one of these hills over there. I think it's just behind that one. Yeah, there's my three cactus that I planted. This could kill me from here. See the armor? My armor's hardly damaged, but it's already dropped. So I've got enough for two buckets. Two iron buckets. Because you need three iron to make a bucket. That's iron ore we've picked up, just to be clear. The coal I'll get later. I don't need all the coal at the moment, really. I can use some of the wood to smelt things and you can make charcoal. I just remembered. Which I'll show you how to do later, just in case you're stuck for wood. Pigs. They're your only source of food except wheat at this point. And wheat's a bit of a pain. I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of a pain. I'll build a big wheat farm in the end. It's not really worth it. So what you do is put some... I'll put a bit of coal in there to get that burning. What I'm going to do is, I need it to go over this mountain range. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dig in over here. A 3 by 3 walkway. Okay, I recommend building this when you've got diamond tools or TNT because this is taking forever. But this is what you do, you then just kind of dig out a wee room that's no more than about 9 wide. The, ro the road itself I think 6, yeah it's 6 wide. But you'll need some extra wiring space underground and stuff. But anyway, it's meant to be a quick boat road, it uses boats and stuff. Um, it's cool. It can, it's just to get me under the mountain, it's just a bit of a fun project, but it'll take forever. So you'll probably see like this over a couple of episodes. But yeah, I'm going to try and get the launcher and the receiver today. Make a chest. Today. It's how you make two chests. And you put them beside each other like that, and then you can store things in it that you don't immediately need like this. And that's really, really helpful if you're trying to work something out. If I go three forward, and I say that's my back wall, I'll leave two there, 
or not? Three. I'll need to go in like that. Right, so it'll need to be that'll literally all need to be mined out until I'm over the mountain. So I'm gonna dig this in a line and then like make the upshot to it. I had no I idea how big this project was until I'd finished. I'll just fix my settings. I play on a normal here, I don't know why it's unpeaceful. But it's gonna be uneasy now. I managed to die though and lost all my iron. I got a bit a stack of iron from this and lots of coal. I'm left with pretty much nothing and not enough to continue building so I'm gonna have to do some mining so I'll show you how to do that. But anyway, this is how big it is. It's quite big, quite long. And I'll show you where it comes out. It goes all the way under those mountain ranges and I can make it go even further if I want to. But it's just kind of more or less to show you how you can do this. It doesn't have to be this long. Although I would say that the start, the launcher for it, is 16 blocks long or they I kind of up into block 16 kind of 16 by 16 kind of blocks also if you've got an area like that with lots of mobs under it all the time and every time I walk by here a skeleton would take a pot shot at me so I decided to light it up and it's turned into um oops oh yeah I forgot you do take damage now it's turned up a nice place for me to get some more food because I ran out uh, yeah, but Ethel breaks it up into 16 by 16 portions of it, so you get your launcher, which is 16 by, which is 16 blocks long and six wide. I followed that out seven though. Oops, go away, go right away. <laughs> Don't like skeletons at all. They're so hard to kill. I'm leaving. Okay. Point taken, I'm leaving. And then, so it's got to be at least 32, I would say. I don't know, it might have to be less. It might have to be more, I don't really know, I didn't build it. It's not my original design. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to mine once I've eaten some food. And then I'll Okay, be back. so just to let you know about that giant tunnel I dug, it took more than three hours to dig. I did it, and do that straight though, not three hours straight. Like, I did it over like three days or so. That's why this episode's a wee bit. It's, I know it's only episode two, but I want them out much more regular than this at one out every one or two days, not one out a week, like usual. So I'm finding it hard to make long let's play kind of you know Minecraft automation videos. So having to go with these kind of shorter ones at the moment, which I hope's okay, but well, it'll just have to be kind of because I can't really do much else. But anyway. So, the whole idea of this series is to just kind of bring kind of a bit of history to Minecraft. What it was like before. I prefer how it was before almost. It's much simpler. It's just nicer. So. Screenshot. Yay. To make this a bit simpler for you here, I'm going to go mining. And also, the biggest problem that people face in Minecraft ever is this. See, we put a torch underneath it. Watch this. Drops right off. It's great. Also, that's a great way to collect sand. Works anywhere, see? Sometimes. Sometimes doesn't work, but that's very rare. Okay, so if you look, open up F3, if you press F3 on your keyboard, this will come up. And you've got Minecraft Beta 1.330 frames per second, how fast it's running, how many frames per second, I lock mine at 30. But I'm looking at about a hundred normally, so and I've got no chunk updates. The C one, I've no idea where it was. It doesn't really matter. E's for entities and B, no idea. P's for particles. Uh, chunks, I don't know anything about. But it's the X, Y, and Z we're involved in at the moment. So it's the Y one, that's second to the bottom. That we want that. See, it should go up and down. Like, you know, forward and backs, Y, Z, sorry, then left and right, X, and up and downs, uh, Y. So we want that to go down to level 11. So we're digging till we get to level 11. Don't dig straight down like this because you could fall into a lava pit and lose all your stuff. That's not how I died, by the way, just in case everyone's wondering, since I lost all my stuff. I died while digging the tunnel and everything despawned because I just couldn't find it. But I can see there's some monsters down there, using F3, so I'm going to kind of dig towards there. I'm going to make myself another sword. 
It does involve a crafting table. This is all because I just swords tools run out much more quickly in this version, so Yeah, I actually might want to switch for the new one. A bow and arrow if you can get one. A bow and then some arrows would be really good in this because I've got rapid fire and much better than the ones now that use up arrows so quickly. Okay, so I don't want to go straight down here, like just drop. I'm going to try and see if I can take some of these out before I go in. Get some more now, hopefully end the video. Oops, that is a skeleton. And there's some redstone there, the red one is redstone. Obviously. <laughs> that was a slime. Okay. See there's a lot of gold ore up there as well. Hello. Is it a slime chunk or something? We don't do much at the moment. Okay. It took me three weeks to try and find a cobblestone block to make a pick at there are diamonds there. Diamonds. Oh you get slime balls now, but I don't think there's much you can really do with them. Okay, so I've now found diamonds before I've got any iron. You can't mine these with stone pickaxes. Just so you know. Don't make the mistake I did. I used to. I used to think diamonds were useless now because you couldn't harvest them. There's some iron. Perfect. Please be three. Okay, yeah, so three. How, this is how you smelt iron and other like gold and things. You just put it in there and it'll come out. To make an iron pickaxe, you go in here. Give me your iron tool. This can mine anything. Mine stone much faster. Which begs the question. I didn't make a few for that giant digging process, but I decided not to. Redstone, it does take a while to mine, but we do need quite a lot for this project. I'd say we would be safe with a bit two or three stacks. About. Also, lava takes ages to go away and you die. And any items that are dropped into lava get destroyed as well. Show you some sand. Spears. So I'm getting in a block it off. The blocks don't, but like if you throw it in, it's like an entity like that, it really will. Okay, diamonds. The best type of tools are made of diamonds. The fastest tools they help you get to places like the nether, all sorts of things. But collect everything's my tip. Whether you whether you take that or not, because some people will just walk by redstone, but you never okay, know. Okay, so this is how you kill red. creepers in a slightly amusing and fun way. See this cactus trap here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna lure him into it. Right, easy, easy, easy. There he is. <laughs> And he'll slowly die, unfortunately. We go, and your drops will usually, like the drops you get from, them are usually destroyed. Got full inventory. Not get enough iron, but it'll do. If you're needing to get rid of drops, use cactus. Best way. I would say, or lava, but lava sets fire to things, so I would say cactus, but they, cactus are quite particular. Okay, I massively over exaggerated the redstone Sorry need for about this that. build. I'm you don't need it, but maybe a stack to stack and half. That's a skeleton, isn't it? Oh, always a skeleton, that pig. Go away. Sleeping's dangerous, but it's quite good as well when it goes well, so I'd sleep with a sword. <laughs> yep, always with a sword. I'll make a front door. I'll make like a front like wall to your house. You know, I've got about as much protection as you would get from a lamppost in real life. At the moment. Well, I'm getting arrow shot at my head and everything. I don't know why, but you always seem to get attacked, so be careful.